Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we understood the for loop. We understood the syntax of for loop, how the for loop gets executed, and we had an example. Also, we understood when to use for loop. We know that when we know exactly how many number of times the loop should get executed, we use for loop. In this video tutorial, I give you one more example and we understand the for loop much better. I minimize the word. Let's take an example of somebody told you to display the multiplication table for the number 2. You should display 2 into 1 equal to 2, 2 into 2 equal to 4, 2 into 3 equal to 6, up to 2 into 10 equal to 20. This is one of the good example for the for loop because here we know exactly how many number of times the loop should get executed. We know that the loop should get executed 10 times. How do you write a script for this? problem. We need not to display the complete table at a time. We can display part by part. We can write a script for that. What I do, I minimize it. I right click on default.html, open with the notepad. You can see that default.html is open in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to JavaScript loops demo. Within the body section, we have opening script and closing script tag. I minimize it. I right click on default.html, open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html is open in the Chrome, title is set to JavaScript loops demo. Now I want to display here the number 2 5 times one below another. How do we do that? I can write a for loop here. I say for where i is equal to 1, i is less than or equal to 5, i plus plus. In between the flower brackets, I say document.write, you should display the number 2 and move the cursor to the next line. Here you can see that the i value is 1 in the beginning. It will be incremented by 1 in every iteration. And when the i value becomes 6, this loop stops. So this block will get executed 5 times and we see 2 displayed 5 times and the cursor will be moved to the next line. This is actually called as forward for loop. Forward for loop where the counter variable is incremented. It will go in ascending order. File, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that 2 is displayed 5 times. If I need to display it 10 times because we need the 2 to be displayed 10 times, right? So what I need to do, I just need to modify here to 10. Now the loop get executed 10 times. File, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that 2 is displayed 10 times. What we need next? Next we should display x beside every two. So what I need to do here is I just need to use a string. So I'm using here double quotations and I need to display x. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that x is displayed beside every two. Actually I need a space between two and x. What I do here, I give a space before the x and after the x to get a space. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the space is added. Next what we need? We need 1, 2, 3, 4 like that up to 10 we should display. How do we display that? You can see here the i value will be 1 in the beginning and then it is incremented by 1 in every iteration. 1, 2, 3, 4 like that up to 11. When the i value becomes 11 this loop will not get executed because the condition becomes false. So I can take help of this counter variable i. Here I can display the value of i in every iteration. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, these are the current values of i in every iteration. We displayed 1 to 10. That's great. Next what we need? We need to display equal to symbol. To display the equal to symbol, as I have displayed x in the same way, I just use a string here and we say equal to. File, save, Go to browser and refresh. You can see that equal to sign is displayed. I need a space before the equal to sign and after the equal to sign. All I need is I need to add space. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that space is added. Next what we need? We need the multiplication of 2 into 1 is 2, 2 into 2 is equal to 4. How do we display that? It's quite simple. All I need is I should say here 2. Then I should use star. Star indicates the multiplication operator. 
then we know that the i value is incremented by 1 in every loop it is going to be 1 2 3 4 so i can use that counter variable here so 2 into 1 is 2 2 into 2 will be 4 like that it will display file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we have displayed successfully the number table that is how we write a script to display the multiplication table for the number 2 if I need to display for 3 I just need to change here 3 here 3 it displays the multiplication table for 3 this is actually a forward for loop where the counter variable is incremented by 1 or it is in ascending order it is incrementing right 1 2 3 4 like that let's understand how this for loop is getting executed clearly I'm going to copy this um, script I go to MS paint and uh, paste it here control V we understand it clearly step by step okay let me put it properly okay now we know that this is the first part and this is the second part and it's a fourth part and this is the third part so we should understand this clearly now when the control hits the for loop we know that first the initialization statement will get executed where i is equal to 1 now what browser does it creates one memory location for i and inside that it puts the value 1 right it puts the value 1 and after that we know that it moves to the second part and it checks the condition whether i is less than or equal to 10 what is the i value i is 1 so 1 is less than 10 it is true so this condition is evaluating to true as the condition is evaluating to true the block will be executed the third part so this document dot white what it does it displays in the browser to space x space the value of i what is the value of i at present that is 1 then space equal to space 2 into i 2 into i i is 1 so 2 into 1 is 2 and as there is a break statement the cursor will be moved to the next line after executing this block or all the statements inside the braces the control moves to the fourth part i plus plus now what happens i value will be incremented by 1 it is going to be now 2 after executing the fourth part the control will be moved to the second part again the condition will be checked whether i is less than or equal to 10 i is 2 2 is less than 10 the condition is true as the condition is true this block will be executed the third part now what happens the document dot write displays true space x space the value of i is 2 space equal to space 2 into 2 will be 4 so i value is 2 2 into 2 is 4 and as there is a break tag it moves the cursor to the next line after executing the third part the control moves to the fourth part now i value will be incremented by 1 it is going to become 3 then the control moves to the second part again the condition will be checked whether i is less than or equal to 10 is 3 less than or equal to 10 yes it is true because 3 is less than 10 as the condition is true the third part will be executed again the document dot write displays 2 x then 3 equal to 2 into 3 is 6 right then it moves the cursor to the next line after executing the third part the control moves to the fourth part i plus plus now the i value will be incremented by 1 it is going to become 4 then the control moves to the second part whether i is less than or equal to 10 the condition is true because 4 is less than 10 as the condition is true this third part will be executed again the document dot write displays 2 space x space 4 that is the i value at present space equal to space 2 into 4 is 8 and then as there is a break tag it moves the cursor to the next line after executing the third part the control moves to the fourth part i plus plus now the i value will be incremented by 1 it is going to become 5 then the control moves to the second part whether i is less than or equal to 10 5 is less than 10 the condition is true as the condition is true this block will be executed the document dot write displays 2 space x space the value of i is 5 at present equal to 
2 into 5 is 10. Then break tag is there, it moves the cursor to the next line. After executing the third part, the control moves to the fourth part, i++. Now the i value will be incremented by 1. It is going to become 6. Then the control moves to the second part. Whether i is less than or equal to 10, i is 6. 6 is less than 10. The condition is true. As the condition is true, the third part will be executed. The document dot white displays 2 space x space. The value of i is 6 equal to then 2 into 6 is 12. Then the cursor will be moved to the next line. After executing the third part, the control moves to the fourth part i++. Now the i value will be incremented by 1. It is going to become 7. Then the control moves to the second part and it checks the condition whether i is less than or equal to 10. Is 7 less than or equal to 10? 7 is less than 10. The condition is true. So the third part, the block will be executed. Document dot write displays 2 space x space 7 equal to 2 into 7 is 14. Then it moves the cursor to the next line. After that, the cursor or the control moves to i++. Now the i value is going to become 8. It is incremented by 1, 8. After that, the control moves to the second part. The condition will be checked whether i is less than or equal to 10. 8 is less than 10. The condition is true. This block will get executed. The document dot white displays on the browser 2 space x space 8 equal to 2 into 8 is 16 and it moves the cursor to the next line. After executing the third part, the control moves to the fourth part, i++. So i value will be incremented by 1. It is going to become 9. After executing the fourth part, the control moves to the second part. It checks the condition again whether i is less than or equal to 10. i is 9. 9 is less than 10 is true. As the condition is true, it executes the third part, the block document dot white displays 2 space x space the value of i is 9 equal to 2 into 9 is 18 and it moves the cursor to the next line. After executing the third part, the control moves to the fourth part i++. plus plus. Now the i value is incremented by 1. It is going to become 10 and then the control moves to the second part. It checks the condition whether i is less than or equal to 10. Is 10 less than or equal to 10? Yes, it is true because 10 is equal to 10. As the condition is true, this block will be executed. The document dot white displays 2 space x space 10 space equal to space 2 into 10 is 20. After executing the third part, the control moves to i++. Now the i value becomes 11. It is incremented by 1. So 11. Then the control moves to the second part. It checks the condition whether i is less than or equal to 10. Is 11 less than 10? No, because 11 is greater than 10. Is 11 equal to 10? No. So both the conditions are false. As both the conditions are false, this is going to be resulted to false. As this condition is evaluating to false, the control moves outside the for loop. If any statements are there, it will execute. And you can see that we have displayed the number table. This is how the for loop executes friends. This is actually called as forward for loop. I hope you guys have clearly understood how the for loop works. i is called as counter variable. Remember that you can use instead of i any other variable. You just say here c or counter. Then you just need to replace here i with a variable name counter, counter plus plus. Here also you should use counter. Here also you should use counter variable like that. So this is how we display the number table using the for loop. It's quite simple. I suggest you people to try this. Let's take somebody told you to display this number table in the reverse order. You should display 2 space x into that is 10 equal to 20. Then you should display 2 into 9 equal to 18. In the reverse order, you should display up to 2, 2 into 1 equal to True. Like that, in the reverse order, you should display the number table. How do you display that or how do you write a script for that? So that we can perform with the help of reverse for loop that we see in the next video tutorial. And uh, for this video tutorial, I think this much is enough friends. In the next video tutorial, we understand how to display the number table in the reverse order and we understand the reverse for loop. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly. 
For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.